where your treasure is, is where your heart will be. Matthew 6, 21. Where your treasure is, is where your heart will be. He said, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Look up here. Once you give God what your life depends on, your heart will full with expectation to receive from that God you have given to. That is true, sir. And once your hope is there, then your faith is involved. What you did not spend, you will not value. You see why some people that are unbelievers, you will see them growing and people ask, how? How did they build this faith? They build their faith because they gave what their life depend on. What builds your faith is what your life... Like Rita Bai, tell me anything about God, I will never accept it because all my livelihood is here. Yeah. Carry Komoko now. Tell Ugo Chuku, Ugo, see Rita Bai with a woman. He's sleeping with a woman. He will tell you, thank you, sir. Leave me alone. You see what happened between Elisha? When they told him, God is taking your master, he understood how he has suffered to follow Elijah. He said, thank you, keep quiet. Because he knows, if I leave, let me lose. His faith will remain there. You see why God is always in need of your money. That thing your heart depends on. So that you can able to cast your burden on him. Once you have something in your pocket, you will never put your trust in God. But once everything you have is in his hand, you have no option to run to him. Look up here. When you carry a palm fruit and you ask a goat to come, and the goat look left and right, there is no palm fruit around. No matter where you enter, that goat will follow you. The secret of my success is all my treasure is in the hand of God. So whenever I'm in need of it, I ask him. Because I have no hope elsewhere. You see why Romans 5 said, hope does not disappoint. Hope cannot disappoint you when you know everything about your life is in that very place. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Faith is a believing system. What you believe is where you put your hope. Faith is a believing system. So what you believe is where you put your hope. You can't put your hope on where you have not sold. You see why daddy would tell people, I said, he's not a member now. I remember when, when we were baby, if they said they want to come to fight Fatima, to fight, you will see me running to go there. That is where my hope is. My treasure is there. That is why my best song is Lion Tribe of Judah. My trust is in you. My trust is there. You see why I don't ever put my trust in man? Why? My mother never sent me to a boy boy to learn trade. My mother never gave me 1,000 to establish. But God did. You see why all my hope is in God. I want to emphasize so many things today so you understand the state of Rita Bai. You see why I don't care. Tell me, woman being, I don't know whether woman being exists or not. As long as God is involved, all my trust is in him. That's why the Bible said nobody has ever put his trust in God and was disappointed. Have you not heard? When you put all your money in central bank, e.g., I don't call any, any bank, and they tell you that bank has crepe or they refuse to give you your money, look at how hot your mind will be. You'll be running to the bank. That is where your treasure is. Abraham believed and he was called a friend of God. Why? Because he put all his hope in God. That was what built his faith. The Bible called he was called the father of faith because he gave his son Isaac 
in Genesis 22 from verse 5 down to 18, you will see what happened. A very mysterious thing take place there. And Abraham said to his young men, stay here with the donkey and lead, and I will go yonder and worship and we will come back because you know, anything I give to God must come back. If I sacrifice Isaac, Isaac must come back. Silver and gold are God's own. If I give to, my, to him, Isaac must come back. He says, so Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on the Isaac, his son. And he took the fire in his hand and a knife and the two of them went together. But Isaac spoke, this is weird, this is sentimental. But Isaac spoke to Abraham, his father, and said, my father. And he said, here I am, my son. Then he said, look, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamp for a burnt offering? Look at what he tell him. Abraham said to him, my son, God will provide for himself. After all, he is the honor of you. I have stayed hundred years before he gave me you. If you want to take you, he should take you. If you want to take me, he should take me. A true lover of God doesn't think twice to give what his life depends on. That's true, sir. So two of them went together. As they went together, the Bible said, continue, then they came to a place of which God had told him, and Abraham burnt, built an altar there with happiness. That's why your giving to God must be willingly and cheerfully, not grudgingly. Be the place, the wood in order, and he bound Isaac, Tyam, his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. Kai. And Abraham stretched out his hand and took the knife. Jesus, my God. Whenever I read this place, I see myself. Whenever I read this place, I see myself. Time will tell. My Lord will tell you who I am. If God says I will kill, I will kill you. Sir, many of you are baby Christian. I'm not underwritten all of you. But you see me. I love God. give anything. Give her never lack. Never. 